Hi everyone. So let's look at this uh, problem under simple harmonic motion where a vertical spring stretches 9.6 centimeters when a block of 1.3 kilograms is hung from its end. So we're first required to calculate the spring constant given the mass and uh, the vertical stretch. So this is what we have. We know that the restoring force is given by Ky, where y is the spring constant. And we also know that weight force of this particular block, since it's hung vertically, will be given by mass times acceleration due to gravity. Then we can simply combine these two by saying if this is the force and this is the uh, weight force, then Ky will be equals to mg. So since we're looking for the spring constant, we're going to divide both sides by y, like this, so that uh, k is equals to mg over y. So now that we have this, it's just a matter of doing our substitutions, then we see how we can get the spring constant. So k is equals to mass is 1.3, multiplied by acceleration due to gravity, divided by the distance that it, st it stretches over, or the displacement, uh, in centimeters, one to ten meters, so it will be 0 0.096 like this. So let's compute the spring constant. We see what we get, and we obtain 132.8. So 132.8 newtons per meter. Because remember, we have mg over y, so that is newton per meter. So we have the spring constant. Question B. Uh, requires us to calculate the period. But before that, we've been told that the block is then displaced by an additional 5 centimeters downwards and released. So we'll look at that in a bit. So part B is requiring us to find the period. We know that period is given by 2 pi over angular frequency omega. And then omega, the formula for omega is simply the square root of k over M. So what we want to do is we're going to say period is equals to 2 pi divided by omega is the square root of k over m like that. So I mean that period is equals to 2 pi the square root of m over k. Then we can do our substitutions here to say period will be given by 2 pi the square root of the mass we've been given as 1.3. And the spring constant, we have 132.8. So with this, let's compute the period to see what we get. And we obtain a period of 0 0.62 seconds. So now that we have period, we can easily calculate uh, the frequency, which is quotient C. So frequency is given by 1 over the period so frequency in this case will be given by 1 over we have the period here which is 0 0.62 so let's compute our frequency and we we'll obtain a frequency of 1.61 hertz okay so we've calculated the period the frequency now we need to calculate the amplitude as well as the maximum uh, speed so to calculate the amplitude since we were told that this uh, spring is hung vertically so this is our spring here which is hung vertically so the idea is uh, the statement says the block is then displaced by an additional five uh, centimeters downward and then released so what this means is that remember amplitude is the maximum displacement from the mean position all the way to the point where uh, to have that particular block at rest so if we have it here and we displace it with an additional, so meaning that the block will come somewhere here, with an additional 5 centimeters. Since we have included this 5 centimeters from the mean position or resting position, then this 5 centimeters becomes our amplitude. So it's easy to say that our amplitude is equal to 0 0.05 meters, based on the statement that we're told to say an additional 5 centimeters was added. Then lastly, to calculate the speed, which is our part E. So for, for the amplitude, basically you just have to give an explanation as to why you've decided to say the amplitude is 5 centimeters. And the explanation is simply because amplitude is the maximum displacement and an additional distance was added. So 
that particular additional distance is what gives us the, the amplitude. Part E is requiring us to find the maximum speed. So maximum speed, we can use the formula for velocity maximum. We know that velocity maximum is given by amplitude times omega. So speed, which is the velocity maximum in this case, our amplitude is this one that we have here, which is 0 0.05. Then our omega, we may say omega is the square root of k over m. So speed will be equals to 0 0.05. Zero 0.05, the root of, remember spring constant is 132.8 and the mass is 1.3. So let's see what we obtain as our speed in this case. And this gives us a speed of 0 0.51 meters per second. So there we have it. So we've answered this question. In case you have any question based on this, please feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll be happy to respond. Thank you very much.